Hey everybody, this is Big Wigs, and uh, why am I redoing the intro despite the fact that it's not a new play session? Well, it has to do with our friend actually playing the game here right now. Past Wigs right there. Somehow, unplugged the mic a third of the way into the session. Leaving me, future Wigs, to fucking fix it. <sighs> I'm gonna mainly be insulting past Wigs here. Even now as he fights the horrible tumor unicorn of death. I really hope that he dies a lot. Cause he fucking unplugged the mic. How did it even... The microphone that I use, ladies and gentlemen, has a big, bright, shining red light on it. That doubles as a night light, to be honest. That's what it does. And it... I mean... How... How did I not know it was off? Oh, whatever, but we're fighting the horrible tumor unicorn with his spike ball and chain. Oh, look, look, the damage on the stamina, blah, blah, blah. I'm just so disappointed. Down to zero S's, Flask. What are you gonna do now, Passwix? What are you gonna do now? Huh? You can use your shield some more? That'd probably be a smart idea. Come on. There you go. It's about damn time. Come on, pick it up. Pick up. What, what amazing treasure. Leather gauntlets. That was worth it. That was worth it. I, he, he's seen a shiny thing, and he's stepped on the shiny thing. Because that's what Passwix does. He's a small child. And plugs the goddamn mic. Sitting on bonfire that he found just down the elevator. Um, edited that part out. Don't know why I did. He's just sitting down now. Scrolling through menus. That's what he likes to do. He likes the little click sound. As he just scrolls through everything. It's dark. Passwigs is scared of the dark, so he put on his sun helmet. It makes him so much better. It makes him feel better about himself when he does that. Just nice big night lights. Right on top of his head. In fact, Passwig sleeps with the miner's cap on. And now we're fighting some monsters. Not tough monsters, mind you, just regular old monsters. I've killed these. Passwigs has killed these many times. I'm sure he wouldn't do anything as stupid as die over and over here in the same spot. That would be absolutely ridiculous. I mean, it would just completely destroy his credibility as a gamer. And, and actually, as a man. There's, yeah, he's... So yeah, that's how you guys doing today? Uh, we're just gonna, we're gonna play the counting game. Just uh, you know, nice fun little game. He's killed again right before he kills the person. Poison too, just insult to injury. Manos, well, as tea bagged him. Uh, just shots over and over. He deserves it though. God damn you, Passwigs! You deserve this so much. Just to die. Oh, uh, will he do it this time, ladies and gentlemen? Will he regain his manliness? Well, he didn't really regain it. He just... He just sort of barely survived. Look at him running around in circles. Picks up a spell. He's happy about that spell, I bet. I fucking bet he is. He took off his mining cap helmet. I don't know why. We all know he's scared of the dark. I've told you now. What we got down here? Oh, ghosts. Another thing Pastwigs loves is ghosts. Um... Super excited, really, to fight the ghosts. The creepy floating ghost things. Especially as they slowly swarm him and scare him. Screaming very hard right now, I remember him being screaming. Um, but it's not going to help. It's not going to help. Doesn't matter how hard he screams, it's going to happen. It's just inevitable. Even now as he swings his sword desperately. Uh, edit out this part. Just because, um, why not? We all knew that was probably going to happen. So he falls down this ghost cliff, which scares him. And then he sees, like, a horrible baby thing. Yeah, it looks a little baby thing. It's not a big deal for bigwigs. He just runs past it. Oh, this is my favorite part of the entire PlayStation that I did. Um, not this part exactly, where he fights the ghost. This is the part after it. Uh, this part where he fights the ghost is, uh, they're just faking each other out. They're just seeing what each other's going to do. As a sworn whole enemies won't to do. They do drop humanities, actually, those ghost things. So me, Passwigs, and me and Passwigs are uh, on agreement that they're probably humanity souls. 
So he took that little shiny thing, and he's like, oh, it's a shortcut, and it takes him back to Royal Wood. Which is great. It's very great. It's a very, very good shortcut, except it's one way. As Bigwood slowly realizes this, he prays editing saves him. And it does. Editing did save him. Uh, the 20 minutes it takes to get back is now cut down to nothing. This is them getting just bullied by a humanity ghost. Uh, you may not notice, but humanity ghosts are the most powerful of manatees. They are not phased by boat propellers at all. As you can see, because their bodies have no corporeal form. And they just don't, just goes right through them. They're totally safe. Of course, not safe from the sword of ghost murder. At least I think that's what's telling them. It might just be regular swords can do that. Um, I'm pretty sure this area is the two of the giants in the future. Just corpses flopping around on past wigs. He just kicks them off. Really cool. He might have just been unconscious past wigs. You fucking bastard, you. That's all you do, isn't it, past wigs? Just ruins people's days. I was going to record something else, past wigs. Did you know that? I was planning on doing... I was busy today. But no, you just... You just decided to unplug the mic. I mean, it's not like I played for a fucking hour. Just... <laughs> Whatever. This is boss battle intro. Ooh, darkness rises. Horrible hand of awful eyes and mouth and tongue. Unconscious passwigs. We're happy already. We're good already. We're enjoying this. It's good. It feels right having them just lie there on the ground in pain. I want to see more of it. There should be more of it. Horrible, awful thing there. With some pretty impressive horns, it's gotta be said. Alright, it pauses here for a second, just so I can tell you that I died five times here. Uh, yeah, that's the only reason. Which is why it says 116 now, right there in the upper left hand corner. So I'm just, I basically edited out and just chose the winning battle to show you. Um, mainly because I don't like talking for a half hour straight. I just cut, that's why this video is only like 13 minutes long. Uh, Manus isn't too hard. All of his attacks are blockable, believe it or not. The physical attacks, if you have good enough endurance. Uh, strafing around him works fairly well. He does have a tendency to go ape shit, like he's doing right now. I call it going ape shit. It does like a seven hit attack combo. Thankfully, while you're in the air, or while he juggles you, it all does increasingly reduce damage. So if you get hit by, say, the first attack, it's pretty much the exact same as getting hit by the fifth attack. But no worries. Uh, just retrieve something, that's how you know I died there. Over and over. Uh, sort of ghost murder, doing its job. Murdering ghosts. I'm not sure if Manus is a ghost, he looks like he might be undead. Definitely horribly full of darkness. Good job, Manus. Hitting Passwigs right in the face there. Uh, he's a team player, Manus. Not like Passwigs is. He's, we're on the same wavelength. We're on the same page, me and Manus. We both desperately want to kill Pastwigs. For his foolishness, for his idiocy. Really, just look at him, he's getting smacked around. Come on, Manus. One of Manus' spells, uh, somewhat blockable. Not entirely, depends on your shield. I'm sure if you had more magic defense on his shield, uh, it would have been entirely blocked. But Pastwigs doesn't, because he is a moron. Uh, still 15 S's last. Uh, Passwigs came in here prepared, because he died five times. Probably not really prepared, more like trial and error. I mean, if you get a math question right, a really difficult one, but takes you 6,000 answers or guesses to get it right, you're not really smart. You're just sort of... You're just sort of persistent. That's what Bigwigs is, or Passwigs is. He is persistent. He, uh, he always wants to annoy me. He really just does not like to be helpful, or nice, or kind, in any way or sort. He's just... He's just a ball and chain, attached to my foot, holding me back. That's all he's doing. Leaving me with all the hard work. You know, I bet I bet you still think the mic's plugged in. He's talking the whole time through this, and you can't hear him. You know why? Because he unplugged the mic. I really can't stress that enough. That he unplugged the mic. That he fucking 
The mic is so easy. It just plugs in and it works. There's like no buttons or switches. It's not complicated. I mean, Pastwigs has used it before in the past. In the more past. Doing some rolls there. Some nice rolls. It's not helping them, though. Because uh, Mass is just too good. Much better than Pastwigs will ever hope to be. I mean, really, Pastwigs has died five times now. Manus has not died once. I mean, do the math. Bigwiz is behind. He's not... He's... Really, this is just uh, me uh, showing you how to luck out against Manus. I mean, look, he almost died there. He should have died there. It was just luck. It's all luck. What choice does he have? Some more raining death needles. Uh, just strafe. You can probably avoid them. More raining death needles. Uh, the farther away you are from, the less needles will come out and hit. Oh, this one's kind of unavoidable. Hopefully, you have enough health to, you know, not die from it. That's what Bigwigs did, or Pastwigs did. He just really just prayed hard. That's how he won this battle. He sat in a corner and he cried. He cried long and hard. And then eventually his uh, his parents came in. They told him how to do it. Because that's the kind of person he is. He just wants everything to do. He just wants someone else to do it for him. That's all he is. Horrible coward. Horrible person. I mean, look. He didn't want to edit this. But you know what? He's always making me do it. He's making future wigs here edit it. Yeah, good job. Good job, man. Punch him to death. Punch Maybe he learned his lesson. Maybe he'll just... Maybe he'll finally get a clue. About how much of a horrible bastard he is. Yeah. That'd be great. That'd be fucking amazing. I hate you so much, Pastwix. So like I said, Manus, all his attacks are blockable. Uh, really, the biggest problem is just having enough Estus Flasks to sustain all of his attacks. As you can see, now I have four Estus Flasks. Three Estus Flasks. So, I mean, I came in this battle with 20. Oh, and he's down! It's about time, bigwigs. It's about damn time. Soul of Menace, victory achieved! And now he's just help the girl up, Pastwigs. Come on, just help her up. Just reach your hand. You have, you have some S's last left, just help her up. Just help her up. She's You came all this way to help her. That was the whole plan. She's the dust princess. You just have to pick her up and help her. Just help her. Come on. Come on. Get up. Just help her, Pastwigs. Just help her. Just, where the fuck are you going? Where the fuck are you... Wow. Wow, really? So you're just gonna sit there? Play with the camera? Selfish. That's what it is. It's selfish. Well, anyways, if you guys like this video, be sure to uh, like and subscribe and leave a comment. And thank you for watching. Bye. Now, if you want to teleport in between worlds, all you really have to do is right click on the book, click on the black thing. It fears. Oh, fuck.